Hello guys, this is what the inside of the uh, ID5100A uh, looks like. Uh, those are the two diodes that you need to remove from the board, D310 and D312. Uh, they're really, really small. Um, they look like specks of dirt, uh, you'll see in a second here. Um, that's the actual size of a penny, and those are the two diodes to the right. Um, that's what they look like after removal. Um, you will see um, in a few minutes that uh, how to take the cover off and um, and how to remove it. Take care. Okay, guys, uh, this is Joe, Joey rather. Um, I'm going to show you what to do for the ID 5100A uh, Mars cap mod. I've already done it in this machine already in this radio however what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew there's four screws here one two three and four and then there's two more on this side here uh, one there and one there this actually shows four here but there's there's, there's a cover that splits down the middle here that comes off and the other side's the same way there's uh, four screws here, but you only need to take one, uh, one off here and one off here down here. Uh, you want to make sure that the antenna is on the left-hand side, because the other side of this radio, this is the bottom of it, the other side of this radio, because as you can see, it's upside down. So you want the bottom of the radio facing up, and this is the antenna, and uh, because this is the side that you want to get to. So let me just pause for a second to unscrew this. Okay, hang on. Okay, now that we've got this off, what you want to do is you can go down the side of the radio with a flat edge blade screwdriver and pop off the cover this way. You gotta go really carefully, you don't make any mars or anything in the even though this is just the this is not the head of the unit. Excuse me. Um so we're going to try to balance this here like this so I can show you what we gotta do. So you pretty much, you just, you know, put the screwdriver like this and try to split it apart. Because this is kind of weird how it's sandwiched on. You kind of see. So anyway, it's difficult to hold my camera, my phone, camera phone, and uh, try to take this off at the same time. So let me pause this and uh, get this thing off. Okay, now that we got this off, this is the part that's going to whack you guys out. <laughs> this is where we need to be. Um, diode, um, so we get a screwdriver here, you can see how small it is. There should be one here. Try to focus this in for you. having difficulty there we go there's only two diodes when you actually open this up there'll be only two diodes in this section try to make not move so much here for you guys there's only two diodes in this section and uh, those are the two that you remove um, and that's pretty much it you get a soldering iron you get a buddy with you and you just tap the um, one end the soldering gun over here and then you have like a flat blade going the other way and you just heat it up very ever so gently and you tap it off and then um, and you pop it off ever so gently um, I use a uh, gas soldering iron made by Radio Shack works very very well um, it runs on butane as you can see how much do I have left? I got a little bit left. Uh, this works out very, very well for um, removing, or I actually do a lot of soldering and stuff like that, so it works out really, really well for this situation. Um, this does void the warranty. However, I just wanted to um, use my radio in GMRS, and um, 
that's the reason why I did this modification so if you need to have those frequencies in your radio turned on this is what you'll need to do I'll have photos and stuff in the uh, video uh, before and after so you can see what you need to do it's relatively simple it was like not even 15 seconds to do the whole thing and you're done thank you for watching